Hello, this is JT and Bex. My name's JT. My name's Bex. And welcome to episode four of JT and Bex Survival Series. So, hey Bex. Hey, how you doing? Not too bad. We are here. Episode four. We've made it this far. Yep. And we have our farm finally filled out. We spent time doing that, which is great. And also the wheat farm. But we have plans for this episode. Mm-hmm. I have plans for the house. If you want to come here, um, or just use my camera, that's fine. We're going to put a bit of a basement down in here somewhere. So we'll go down from here underneath and make like a large chest room. Because as you can see out here, there's like three chests. There's far too much stuff sort of lying about. And I don't like mess. So we want to tidy that up today. You're going to be working on something too. Let's sleep first. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's exactly. night time. It's dangerous. And that <laughs> links. There's going to be skelly bobs. Exactly. That links funny enough to what I plan to do today. Yes, Today, I would like to make our little area a bit more secure. Mm-hmm. And by doing in doing so, I want to build a wall. Where are you starting from? Do you know? I think I'll probably start around here. And then around I'll go off corner? in that direction. And sort of take it wide out around the house. So we have a bit of room to grow and expand up on this plane here. This little yeah. flat bit. And then maybe as time goes on, we'll go down and make it circle around our little farming areas there with the cactus and the sugar cane just to keep yep. it within the, the the boundaries yeah that reminds me i was actually thinking of putting a bridge here just because obviously we've got the cactus farm over here crazy mountains over there so possibly a bridge over here and a bridge over there plus i was uh, i was planning on extending the water because as you can see over there there's a bit of a river and i think that might go out to ocean so okay. i'm thinking of clearing out some of the land there and filling in the water and that way, if we do decide to put boats in, then we can travel either direction, which yeah. would be cool. I like the sound of that. It definitely opens it up for some exploration. Yeah, um, exactly. I was also thinking about uh, we could bring some villagers over, some yep. of the more useful ones, because as you remember from the last episode, we find a village. We did. Check it out. It's definitely yeah. worth watching. Yep. Check out our last episode. Now, the village is all the way over there, so we'll have to devise a cunning way yeah, to get them back. Yeah, in that direction. Possibly with boats or, or by rail or maybe even the nether. I haven't decided yet. Um, there wasn't much in the way of good villagers there. We had a few clerics. We had a farmer, I think, and we had a cartographer. No librarians. Mm-hmm. So um, I had a thought with regards to bringing the villagers over once we got a couple back. Now, you and I both know, and we're, gonna, we're telling our viewers now, we have a villager-friendly rule on this server. Yeah, a sort of very ethical server. We're doing ethical iron as well. No, no iron golem farms. Um, but the idea will be that we will build a house for each villager that comes. We'll not be creating a mad technical villager breeder. We'll just have an, a house for a villager and then an extra house. And hopefully that will convince the villagers that do exist that they have to make babies and create all sorts of lovely little villagers. Now, we will have an issue if none of the villagers that are produced are the ones we want. We have to figure out how we can ethically relocate them to another village or release them into the wild. But we'll figure that out. Or stick out. them in a boat and, and you know, lure them off. That's a, yeah, stick them in a boat. <laughs> I'm joking. Out, out to the ocean. Yeah, and once yeah. they're beyond the village limits, then then maybe it's not so ethical. I don't know. No, 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 it's cruel. It's cruel. That's cruel. So that's no, the it's plan. All right. Stick them in a boat and take them to the other village and just put them back in the old village. Exactly. That yeah. works. I call it an exchange visit. It's an exchange yes, visit. Th- th- this is like a holiday place. That's that's it. This is a this is a villa. This mm, is a villa, and right. I will make houses if you like, just quite similar to that one, just a little bit smaller, yep. and that way it'll sort of match the land. Yep, I like the sound of that. Um, although I'm now thinking mm-hmm. about doors. Doors are very interesting in how they affect the village. So it all depends on where you want the set, what size you want the village. And where you want the center of the village to be, because um, if you have doors within 64 blocks of those doors, then it's all part of the same village. Yeah. Does it matter? What, you know, does I don't it think affect it, matter. It? It, it? It may not matter. It could just end up being a rather large village. So, I mean, we can work with that. I mean, maybe it would be nice to have a large village. My only concern will be zombie invasions. Isn't it? Zombie sieges. I think it's called a zombie siege. And the pillagers, you have to think about the pillagers for the next well, update as well. So it does have to be walled off. Yeah, we'll have to work on securing it, definitely. But zombie sieges are another entertaining mechanic when you have a lot of villagers in the same area 
um, you will get a bunch of zombies coming in to attack. I think even during daylight, but I'm not 100% sure. But we can deal with that. We can Well, if it's during the daylight, they die anyway. Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> Shh, pretend I didn't say that. Our pumpkins oh, are doing good. well. Yes, I keep mining them out, you know, just so they keep growing. Yep, yep. Being helpful. That's the way to do it. So, where to start? Um, I guess, I guess, shall we start with the basement area? Do you want to work on that? Sure. Yeah, um, are you going to work walls. in your own thing and I'm going to work on my own thing? Or are we doing it together? Or um, Tell you what, what we can do is we can do a bit of either a wish or a time lapse. Depends on mm -hmm. what's more entertaining. <laughs> and um, you can dig out your basement and I can start placing down walls and we'll go from there. Right. You stick down cobblestone on all the edges of the walls and then when you're done, I can help you fill that out. I'm just literally going to dig a hole where the basement's going to be. Okay. So not too interesting. All right. So, so, possi so we can wish. You ready? Okay. You ready to wish? Three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> Bex. Hey, Bex. Where are you? Oh, hey. How are you getting on? Hey. Um, yeah, I'm getting on quite well. I have it all sort of dug out and stuff and trying to lay out some sort of, you know, I don't mm. know what the word is, organization. So mm. basically here I thought would be, because it's quite a small area and it wouldn't really do for, you know, like a chest room. Yep. So I thought, you know, maybe a crafting station, you know, imagine this is the um, enchanting table and, you know, you have your books. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. And, and then in, in here. here, you know, I've, I've dug this out. This is obviously there's more room here. So you could have your chests. Um, oh, I actually have two chests on me, which is quite handy. So you can have. Never mind. Never mind. And who Ignore. mocked me? Who mocked me? <laughs> you could have your chests here. And then obviously I've, I've done four rows on each side. So right, okay. that's going to be one, two, three, four, and then a half slab. There would have to be like a wee half slab on top just so the top chest can open. Yes. So what's that? Four by four, 16. So that's 32 chests in here. Nice half and then, a stack of chests. Yep. Yeah, and then I thought maybe, you know, we could have a bit of a input line in here and have some furnaces. So, you know, you could bulk, you know, cook some like food and stuff because the, the animals, mm -hmm. I believe... I'm pretty sure, oh, yeah, the yeah. animals are here. Hello, cows. So you could, you know, kill some cows, and then you'd have a chest, possibly here, you right. know, and you just dump the food in, and then you'd feed down into hoppers, into the furnace and things, and then there could be another chest up there for, like, fuel line. Yep. So if you're going, like, mining down that mine, then you just come over here, put your fuel in, and it would, you know, automatically fill in. Mm -hmm. So I like that's, the sound of that. It may not work out, but... It's definitely worth exploring. For you know? a start, I mean, you know, for a beginner build, for the starting Give area, I think it would suit us quite well. And then as time goes on, when we build other areas, we can maybe merc, merc, we could maybe work on super smelters and things like that. You know, just if we need it. I don't know if we'll, we'll ever need the need for that unless we're making a lot of glass, but it's something to think about for the future. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just... Not going to be too difficult to map out. Yeah, absolutely. So you know? in the meantime, while you've been working on that, I have dug out and placed this cobblestone wall. Not exactly very pretty, but functional nonetheless. So I've done the wall. I've laid out, laid out the land and flattened it out and dug out quite a bit over in this corner as well. So the next thing is, I, I mean, it, it serves a purpose. I'll add for some lights and stuff like that on to, to keep mobs away. And hopefully that will keep us a little bit safer. See? I mean, okay, we have that problem. Yes. Yeah. Yep. You go. Oh, Yay. Got, him. got him. So, yeah, it's it's not overly pretty right now. But, you know, we could always, you know, change up the wall. Oops. Are you kidding me? Watch out for that creeper. Um. Yeah, just a little late, but yeah. Uh, I so, should. I do, you know, do, you know the, do you know the weirdest thing? What? I didn't even take a single bit of damage. That is weird. He must have, he must have been quite far away. Hmm. Um, so he, was, he was literally about there while well, you were there. So yeah, I would say you were just outside the radius. Do you know what? I must have walked away as he started the fizz. I didn't, I didn't see even see him until it. he did. Freaking nuisance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we could, you know, pretty this up a wee bit. I mean, to be honest, I don't I don't really like cobblestone wall. I think it's it's too um it's too short, 
you know it's nice to have something that's maybe two or three blocks high yeah. so yeah like a proper just wall extend this you know, up a little bit. village or something yeah yeah something just just a little bit yeah. but for now obviously it's great because it means then we, if we light up all the area in here then it should be safe from mobs now skeletons are going to be a little bit of a problem because they obviously have a ranged attack but it will keep um zombies and creepers out if we have this place lit up yeah lots of well not lots of progress but there's been some progress i'm going to fill out the um chest room if you want to give me a hand filling out the chest room just with the chests yeah um i'm not sure about what we're doing with the floor and things because you know it's a bit ugly at the moment but you know well you can give me we'll a hand if you want together do you have wood yeah i'm gonna make the chest now i mean how many chests do we need have you any idea 32 i've made i've made 23 let me get some more wood mm. using my beautiful actually no it'll be 64 because it's it's 32 oh, double, it's double chests yeah yeah okay let me see how many have i got now 55 or oh, for flip sick i just don't know one <laughs> I'm not panicking. We are going to have to do a mass wood gathering again. Yeah. yeah you know how long we spent with our stupid little things. These, what do you call them? Iron axes. Getting lots of wood. We need some enchantments pretty soon. We need a tree farm pretty soon as well. Mm, yeah, I'm going to get all this sorted out. Okay, so do you if have, I give you yeah, half a stack here. Yep. You help I'm me on this them. side. You might have to dig out. It's a bit awkward getting the last row in. Still learning how to yeah. place chests. Um, yeah, just just four rows, okay, like that. Yeah. Um, I will have to light up the floor pretty well. Do you know what? I'm just going to put stuff at the top row because there'll be no chests at the top row. <laughs> don't want any more creepers coming in blowing me up. Yeah, that wouldn't be nice. They don't like me. It's nothing personal. It's it's their it's their um, genetics. No, that's not right. I think. I messed up there. It's yeah, I just it's in their genetics. There too. Um, mm -hmm. so here's a question. I've done yeah. that again. You know the way for one dot fourteen, they're introducing multicolored signs. You know, well, different colored signs. Sorry, they're introducing yes, and different colored text and stuff as well. Yeah. yeah. What uh -huh. if they introduced? Not that they are, but what if we had different colored chests? Um, we do. We have the uh, shulkers. But yeah, they're not. But like different colored chests, like we have here. Um, I quite like the color. I think it's quite um piratey in a way. I like the color. I like the chest. It's definitely you know it's a distinctive. You know this is a Minecraft chest. Yeah. You know um. That's not gonna work. Okay. Well, my side's done. I dug into the wall just so it was, you know, easier. There um, we go. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, that's going to look pretty good, I think. Um, I don't know what we could do about the floor. I mean, I will have an iron iron thing. What do you call it? Anvil? Yes, I'll have an anvil in here. Probably put it in the corner. Um, bookshelves over here. Now, the bookshelves are going to be three out from here. So we could possibly build a room on either side, maybe, for something, if you wanted. Just if there's anything you, you fancy, you know adding in like it's some worth sort of... a thought yeah it's definitely worth a thought um maybe like an entity cramming thing because they're really quite compact that could be you so know? we're ethical towards our villagers not our animals well if you want to be ethical towards the animals that's fine i don't mind oh, you maybe put like a sugar cane farm and um a cactus farm like you know like an automatic type one could do as long as they're not too laggy you know yeah. Because we don't want to cause any, any type of lag. That said, if we were going to consider how we ethical we were with regards to our livestock, this is pretty terrible. Hi, guys. Oh. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I should, yeah, I should probably um, ethically kill them, right? With my <laughs> I sword. Should, I should look away. Do you know what? I'll, I have loads of um, eggs. Oh, look at that. <laughs> They're all flying. <laughs> trying to get away actually some did hi oh, guys did they? oh don't kill all the cows the chickens you can because that you know the eggs will be popular have, have you and got chickens eggs? aren't that yeah chickens aren't that useful really the source of food what can i yeah. check here maybe we should keep one chicken um there's one chicken in there you know, maybe we should just keep one as a, you know, this is our, our 
one of our chickens from our beginning chicken farm. Mm -hmm. Good idea. And we shall call you Larry. <laughs> Speaking of which, start cooking your chickens up here, or chuck your chickens on the ground and I'll throw them in. Oh, oh no, that's alright. Yeah. I got it. They're being cooked in uh, this one. Oops. Oop. Oh, God. One, one for steak and one for chicken? Sure. Oh. That's right, I just keep putting a freaking torch down. Stop with the torches! So this is going to be a while to breed these back up again, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh, it's getting nighttime too. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <sighs> but at least I can know. see where it's really dark out here. Yeah, I'm just going to light up around the um, animal pen. Good idea. Because it's, it's not lit up at all. There we go. And probably put a torch along the fences, just for now. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything too, too fancy. Super fancy. Tell you one thing with 1.14, I'm really looking forward to lanterns. It'd be nice to have a new light source. Yes! I'm really excited about those. They look fantastic. I've just you know, we're, we're so limited on, on what type of light source that we have, you know. Guys, this is not nice. You need to love one another and love me. Who, who's not loving? Who's spiders. not loving? Spiders. I just realized spiders can climb the wall. <gasps> oh, do you know something? That reminds me. What? Don't we have enough string to make a couple of... Um, fishing rods. Oh, fishing rods. Yes, we yes. have plenty of string. I love fishing. Everyone you know, needs you get a hobby. lots of cool stuff. You get you get lots of books and things, and you get leather. And I haven't got enough torches here, but you know, you do get That's some right. really good stuff. Yeah, definitely get get those crafted. That's gonna be our new achievement: getting our little first fishing, you know, achievement. Okay, right. I will, I will do that. Oh, um, there's a zombie. Two fishing rods. Two fishing rods. Fishing rods require string, and I. Oh, one, two. Uh -huh. There's one fishing rod, and there's the other. Here, fishing rod. Thank you. Look, they can't—they can't get me. You see, they—they they want me, but they can't get to me. You look tasty. No, I was going to make torches. That's what I was going to do. Torches. Hello, yeah. torches. He wants my brains. He's not getting them. I need my brains for all sorts of terraforming stuff right okay this lake doesn't look very nice i don't think it's going to be too lucky well you, do you have any other lakes make it lucky oh, okay make it lucky then i can put that hmm that's the only lake that we have in here oh skeleton with an enchanted bow okay that. right we're just we're using this lake this lake is going to be lucky <laughs> i go to stand here you ready uh, okay. Okay, let's get our first uh, fishing achievement. All right, who and then who, yeah. Who do you think's getting the first book? It's uh, always going to be me, isn't it? Absolutely. Come fish. on, fish! <laughs> fishing is one of the strangest pastimes for Minecraft, really. Mm, who, it's good who, for relaxing, though. If you just fancy, you know, listening to some music and doing something when you know, and not actually having to put much thought or energy into it, you know, this is yeah. perfect. Yep. Yeah. Mm. There you go. That's your first I fish. I got my first fish. And I, I got a puffer fish. I got a raw salmon. So See, I guess I'm lucky. the next question is Is this what we're yeah. doing? Should we time lapse this? Time lapse this? I don't see why not. Okay. So we've had a few wishes. We're now moving towards, if I can, F5. Uh, we've had a wish or two, possibly. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're now we're going to do some fishing uh, in a time lapse. So um, why don't we do it until one of us finds a book? Yeah. See Keep you tomorrow, guys. Fishing. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, oh, okay. Did we not have this? That, that's gonna be entertaining. <laughs> come over, come over this way. That they'll. We could sleep. <laughs> I can. I, I think we could. Nope, nope. This is fun. Back <laughs> up. All right, back here. <laughs> that's part of the entertainment, really, isn't it? Well, back here. Stand on that edge. Ah! Not gonna work. I'm gonna have to take him out. I'm gonna have to take him out. Oh! <laughs> You're nearly dead. You need a hand. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I cried. Oh! Oh! oh it suddenly got very busy right here. <laughs> oh, Alright, let's oh, go sleep. Oh, let's oh. go sleep. Oh, no, 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 wait. They're fighting. They're fighting. They, they might kill the, They might kill the creeper. <laughs> Did you see that? No! Oh! Uh, oh, he's got in! He's, he's got <laughs> he's my armor! He's got my armor! That's so cute! Oh my god, that's so cute! Oh, you almost don't want to kill him. <laughs> oh, oh, that was so funny. There you go, see? Entertainment value, right there! 